Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of a Rotrevis brand RT16 2 pack. This is their FM rechargeable walkie talkies. Now, this is license free, so you don't have to worry about uh, registering the product in the US, and that's nice. And it is rechargeable because it has internal lithium ion batteries. Now, this works on the FM radio also to, to uh, pick up radio channels for music and talk from 87 to 108 megahertz we're going to show that it's got a large size keyboard and a large lcd display and it has a hands-free vox function and 22 channels of fr9 family radios and zero to nine levels of squelch 121 privacy codes which give you private communications if you want that it has 11 noaa national weather service alerts channel so it will receive alarm with any risk of severe weather. And that's nice that that's built in. So basically you have a, a, a great walkie-talkie set and a FM radio and a national weather alert radio. There's 10 different call tones available. has an LED flashlight on top. And it's a simple USB port charger. And the batteries are included. And includes two neck straps also. Now the range of this is uh, about, let's go half a mile to one and a half miles. So basically you're going to get four blocks, that's a half a mile to one and a half miles. So yeah, it depends on the terrain and the weather and other things like that. Now to charge this, it's real simple, it has a USB port on there. And it takes about two to three hours to charge each one. Uh, you just plug it in, I'm going to show that and it'll work for eight hours of use and uh, the company provides two-year warranty on the units themselves and two months on accessories like something like this or that uh, but the this charger and the unit itself it's a two-year warranty uh, a couple other interesting things um, the, there's a battery level indicator on the display and the internal batteries are 1,000 milliamp hours. And there's a high and low setting. We're going to show that. And on the high setting, it consumes 2 watts. And on the low setting, it's 0.5 watt. So that saves your battery. So if you're in a mall or somewhere really close to the other person you're talking, you could just use the lower watts. We're going to test the high watts. I'm going to go in my car and communicate with my wife and see how well it does. Now, the unit themselves, the profile is really nice. They have a really good feel to them, and the, the, the clicking, the quality of the build is really nice. The large oversized power, and uh, you have a clip if you want to put a clip on there so that you can put it on your shirt. And you also have this, this uh, strap that is really durable, and that could go on to um, the clip and right into that little hole right there and then you could wear this around your neck which is nice now we're going to uh, show you quickly how to charge the unit itself the included power supply has a usb port on there and you just plugged it in just like that and we're going to undo this we're going to show you how simple it is to charge this unit and you could use any usb port that you have laying around in your house we're going to plug this in to 110 volts and notice that this has unique dual ports on there and that's really nice because then you could charge both of these units at the same time so you take the usb little rubberized piece lift it up right there and you can see it has a little usb port right over there and just line it up properly curve portion and that plugs like right there then we do the same thing on the other unit. Just line it up with the curve portion and plug it in just like that. Now, you have dual charging capability. Let's take this other stuff out of the way here. So now you can charge and not worry about it. Both of them are charging essentially at the same time. I don't see any charge indicator on there, but when you turn the unit on, So here it says welcome and eight and it's telling you the channel. Welcome, eight. So I'm on the same channel. 
So it does show a charge right there. Um, the camera's not gonna probably pick that up, but it, is, it does show you a charge on the top right there. And that allows you to see that it is charging and it gives you the level also. So when you unplug this, just like that, because the, these are fully charged, it still shows you the battery level on the top there as being full and it shows you the frequency right there and the channel number also. Now if I go to hit the transmit button you can see that those that little bar display right there let me zoom in the camera. So I'm zoomed in so I want to show you that uh, little bar display that's important so when you hit the transmit button you see that bar display right there it's going about 50% if I go to this unit right here it's 50% so we can go in the menu and we can change that and uh, that allows you to go to full power so menu. you go menu and you could go up and down the menu there's a lot of stuff on here English voice weather is off we'll show you how to turn that on um, the ring is off right now let's go to power it's on narrow band. Power is low, as you can see right there. So let's uh, change that. Hit Power. the menu button. And let's go to high. Hit the menu Good button job. again. Now I want to show you that when I hit this transmit button, that the display goes to full because now it's on high power. So going over some of the uh, menu options on here, when you hit menu, you then can scroll down and you can go to the various menu. There's the weather. And I showed you how to change the power. Anytime you want to exit, you just hit this button right here and it'll exit back. So menu. when you get to the item you want, you then hit the menu button power. and it allows you to change it. So there I have it on high, then you can Cancel. exit right there. That's real simple. Menu. And uh, you have the different codes. If you want to encrypt, it's on there. So you hit menu and you could then change the different codes. There's two categories right there. And that allows you to encrypt uh, the transmission and the reception. Uh, now let's go back to the menu. I'm going to show you how to get to the uh, NOAA radio. Hit menu on the menu. I confirmed it. Cloudy. Now you can see it comes the temperature on. was 30 degrees, the dew point was 23, and the relative humidity was 75%. Very clear. The wind was northwest. You know, I'm in my basement right now, so it works really well. But to use the flashlight, it's got an LED right on the top right there, and there's an individual button, right, and that turns the LED on. You can see it's on my hand right there. You know, it's just a small one LED, and it even has a pulsing mode then it shuts off very simple on the top of the unit there is a headphone out that you could put a standard 3.5 millimeter monophonic headphone on there if you want to use that and uh, you could also use one of the special types that have a microphone and a headphone out if you want to go and have this around your on a headband system something like that you can order that separately now let's go to the FM it's a direct button, as you can see, and it has a seek. So they picked up one right there. So it works really well. Upstairs, I was uh, very surprised at how well it was picking up radio stations. Uh, and it actually didn't sound bad either. You know, it's got a pretty oversized, pretty oversized speaker on there, so it actually sounds pretty good. Then you just hit the button again to cancel that. So there is a lock button on here, and a little lock symbol lock. comes on the top, and it says lock. Lock. And then that locks these functions until you hit the unlock button again, unlock. like that. So very nice unit, very simple to use. Now we're going to set both these transmitter powers to full, and we're going to do a range check on these units. The unit does come with an instruction manual. It's a little bit confusing because they do go over all the different settings, but it does give you a basic guideline how to operate the unit. And the batteries are very easy to install. They have a tab on the bottom and the contacts.
contacts are on the unit itself and you just simply line it up and Welcome. click. Eight. Eight. Very simple. Okay, so I'm in my car. I'm going to be testing out the range. I've got my mileage zeroed out. And I'm going to be talking to my wife in the home. Okay, so I'm about, I'm about half a mile away. And can you hear me at all? Yes, I can hear you. So it looks like in a car, it has a range of about a half a mile and a little bit more than half a mile. That's what they uh, published. So what's my overall impression about the Retrievus or, or Retrievus brand FM RT16 rechargeable walkie talkies, license free. This is the two pack. I like this product. I love the form factor of these. They feel really good in the hand. And as you can see, the range worked fine, just as expected. Good audio, a lot of functionality with the FM radio and with the national weather radio on there, the LED flashlight, the straps, everything, up, the dual USB charger included. You can't go wrong with this kit. I like this product. I'm gonna give it a full five-star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.